Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm your host Sandman. Today is the Lock Sport Report for Friday, September 20th, 2024. Let's get into it. So first off, if you're new to Lock Sport or if you're new to my channel, I am a big fan of LPUBelts.com. LPUBelts.com was created by the Lock Pickers United Reddit and Discord channels. Um, links in the description down below. If you want to know what locks you should be picking, what level of lock picker you currently are, how difficult do the locks get, what are the most difficult locks in the world, there is no better resource than lpubelts.com. I highly recommend it. It's very easy. Essentially, lock pickers for the last 10 years have collected data, pictures, information about nearly all the locks in the world and they have put them in a category from easiest to hardest level one through like 15 and then they gave them karate belt colors the first nine being white belt to black belt after that we have first dawn second third dawn fourth dawn and fifth dawn and then any black belt level locks you pick that you accrue points to earn more dawn points all the way up to being a 20th level dawn nobody has reached that just yet and there are only about 130 black belts to date out of tens of thousands of people that have attempted this feat of being a part of lock sport community as it pertains to the karate belt ranking system so it's a super fun way to engage in your lock pick journey and or lock picking journey and it's a really fun way to engage in the community and see where you stand uh, one easy way to utilize this tool is if i'm picking a master lock and i want to know how difficult that lock is most master locks that we see out in the wild, like a master lock number three or a number one or a number five, are typically going to, going to be just a white belt level lock. And let's talk about why that is. Using the search function here, I was able to find that it just has four pin stacks and they're all standard pins. Um, they have very loose tolerances, so that's why it is just a basic white belt level lock. However, not all master locks are built the same. Some master locks, like the 911 and the 931, are actually green belt level, and here's why. They use security pins. This one has five pin stacks, and they're all spool pins. Alternatively, we do actually have a master lock that is a high security lock. That is the Master 19, and it uses these uh, barrel style uh, pins. I don't remember if those are called barrel or trampoline. I, I don't know all my security pins, and there's six of them, and the key pins are actually steel pins to keep you from drilling through that sucker. And I have... I actually have two of these. One is um, at a friend's house. I give it to him, and, and the other one is mine. And these things are like 120 bucks. They stopped making them like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and they weigh like two pounds. They're crazy. Maybe not two pounds, but like a pound, pound and a half. They're awesome. They're really cool collector's uh, locks. So there is no better resource on locks and learning about locks and the different functionality of locks. If I want to learn about high security locks in general, I just go to Purple Belt here and I can just start to look at all the different locks. Let me clear out the master uh, search function there, and here's all my purple belt high security locks, and they just get harder and harder from there. I can type in anything. I can type in mole T lock, and I can see all the different types of multi locks going from blue belt all the way to even black belt. I just purchased a black belt level multi lock. It's called an MT5 Plus. Uh, key and knob cylinder looking forward to getting that and trying to get my black belt so check out lpubelts.com you cannot earn your karate belt just from interacting with the website you do need to join the subreddit lock picking or the discord which is in the link down below i highly recommend the discord channel because there are so much better lock pickers than myself and they are all willing to help you become a better lock picker today so check it out um Next up is it's Lady Locke's birthday. She just had a birthday yesterday. Happy belated birthday, Lady Locke. So everybody, go over to Lady Locke's channel, hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and give her a, a very welcomed happy birthday to her. Uh, she recently did a video uh, that was live. Uh, I don't see it here. Oh, you got to go into the live section here, and you'll see the Locke Sport Weekly Live uh, question and answer. And actually... Uh, lock picking lawyer came Safety in. Safety on Whoa. our street. Lock picking lawyer came in to wish her a happy birthday and co uh, Covert Instruments co founder and co owner Robert Pingor. So if you'd like to watch Lock picking lawyer and uh, Robert Pingor and Dark Arts Lock picking chat about 
just life stories and everything, go ahead and head in there. I don't remember where it was ex exactly in here, uh, but you'll just have to go in and check it out. And you can see Lockpicking Lawyer in here interacting with him. There he is, Lockpicking Lawyer. And so we see about three hours, 53 minutes in there. We see Dark Arts Lockpicking. I think he's in Australia. And Lockpicking Lawyer talking, telling stories. Robert uh, Pingor from uh, Covert Instruments is right there. About four hours into this. Um, you're going to see all these guys uh, interacting with each other. Super cool, super fun event. I, I, I tuned in after the fact, and I cleaned my house while I was listening because uh, I like to keep up on all the uh, Lock Sport news and uh, discussions. So happy birthday, Lady Locks. Uh, so first up is Covert Instruments has a new set of tools. This is specifically a set of bypass tools called the Misfits Toy Set. So we have the newest editions of their bypass tools, um, which are the warded, uh, lock picks for warded locks. You cannot really successfully pick those with standard lock picks. You really need these warded picks and warded locks are very common because they're the most inexpensive to make and they're very old design so they're fairly fairly cheap to uh, make and buy. So you need these tools and then they came out with these jiggler tools which is a very unique design um, in that uh, they have a rivet here that allows the uh, the rocker portion to be able to pivot so that way you get more jiggling out. These are jiggler keys essentially or jiggler picks. So that's super cool and they're putting it inside of the Echelon, Echelon pick case here so that way you can have more. Um, I do like their comb picks. I prefer their ergonomic comb pick that has the locks etched into it so you know what locks that you can actually bypass with the comb uh, bypassing technique. I do like these tools. I think these are probably the best uh, comb picks available on the market in North America. I just wish they would etch them into those as well. So if you are going to get this set, I think it's great. I think it's a good set. I would highly recommend you get the ergonomic comb picks. Let's take a look at those real quick and substitute it. So either build your own custom set um, which you can do now with the chop shop so that you can get these instead. I really like these. These are also perfectly sized so that when you insert these tools into a lock, you insert it to the point that it butts up against the face of the lock and then all you have to do is lift up. I don't know if that design feature was necessarily implemented into these. I don't think that's how you use these. You really have to line up those teeth with the pins. So I'm just saying I really like this bypass kit. I'm definitely going to be I have an Echelon case that's empty, and I definitely want to add these bypass tools on the far right in the middle, um, but I'm a bigger fan of the ergonomic turning tools, and I would love to see the ergonomic turning tools in this set instead, but I think it's a great set. Check it out. You can always purchase the ergonomic turning tools separately and add that to your set. Um, I think that was on sale, right? It was new and it's on sale. We also have a complete bump key bundle. I, I think I have the bump key set here somewhere. and. Um, it only has like two or three keys in it, I think, and now they have, wow, seven. So we have an arrow, we have a quick set, we have a master, a Schleg SE1, a Schleg SE4, which is the six pin version of a five pin version SE1. We have the Wiser, we have a Yale, and 10 rebound rings. So that's cool. That's a, For 23 bucks, that's a steal. That's very good. Uh, it's crazy what people are charging for bump keys on 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 eBay and on Etsy, it's ridiculous what they're charging. In the future, I personally would love to see some some nickel, silver, alloy bump keys because those are stronger for bumping. You will wear out brass bump keys over time if you use them, but how often are you really gonna use these? I never use them. I just keep them, carry them with me as a backup in case I run into a real sticky lock that's just not letting me pick it, and that's that. So I think this is a really great new addition to the website, and uh, I already have a full set of bump keys, so I won't be purchasing that. But they do have the Jiggler Picks and a Wafer Lock Bundle, which is new, and it's on sale for $18. So those new Jiggler Picks we talked about, you can now buy this with an actual cabinet-style Wafer Lock, which is cool. So you can uh, practice this on that. Uh, let's go to, they also have a Tubular Lock Bundle, which I'm really glad that they do. Uh, because I, I don't have a lot of tubular locks in my collection. I had like one and then I purchased the tubular lock pick from Covert Instruments and it didn't work with the one tubular lock I had. Not Covert Instruments fault, totally my fault. But I was like, eh, I guess I really don't need this thing. But I like that they're including an actual lock in this bundle so that way you can practice. And if you're going to do that, I think Covert Instruments also sells a tensioner for tubular locks. So tensioners... 
Let's go to tension wrenches. Here, we gotta go to products. Let's go to lock picks. And let's see if they have a tubular lock pick just for tubular locks or a tensioner. I thought they did. Oh, you know what? It's in the echelon pick set because I'm a goof. So here it is. Go to the echelon pick set. It should be in there. Man, yeah, there it is. It's on the right. So the tubular poker tubular turning tool right here, which is in the echelon pick set, which means if we go to the chop shop, we could probably purchase this individually and add that to any set if you want. It, my recommendation is if you like that turn uh, that tubular lock bundle, go to the chop shop and also add that uh, tubular lock uh, tensioner. Uh, I'm looking for it here. Call me a liar. Maybe it's in here. Should be in here. Maybe it's not. I, don't know, I couldn't find it. Let's see. Hold on. Yep, I couldn't find it. Up oh, there it is. There it is for eight dollars. Add that to your tubular lock bundle. And it looks like we have a couple new additions here. We have the hog mask. Oh, okay, cool. Wow. So this is new. So if you're a big fan of Georgia Jim like I am, or Dr. Hogmaster, I'm a big fan of him, the Lock Chuck Lock Pick set and the Lady Locks Lock Pick set set, you can just go and you can be like, you know what, I like Georgia Jim's and put on things. I'm gonna purchase his lock pick set that he recommends, and that is $130. You have a short hook, medium hooks, you have quint rakes, double rakes, notch decoders, quad combs, bypass kits. That's awesome. Very cool that they're doing that. Happy to see that. That's very cool. So um, you just go through here, click through all the images. I wonder if I can get an image of the whole set. That's an. I'm surprised I don't see an image of the entire set, but it does have a list of all the tools that are in this set. So that's wonderful. That's very cool. Congratulations to Georgia Jim and Dr. Hogmaster. That's very, very cool that they are doing that. Um, let's see here. And of course, Lock Chuck. Lock Chuck is a really great uh, designer. He does a lot of stuff. Um, he, he creates so many products. He created oh, the 3D... Uh, there's we're gonna show it here in a second. There's a 3d printed um, Chuck vice that you can put your locks in for picking locks And so that's cool that he has his own lock pick set with covert instruments and of course lady locks happy birthday again to lady locks um, the chop shop uh, We're not to that point yet. So there's that turning tool. Uh, let's see here uh, They have a new lock gutting bundle for $35 that comes with a plug follower Comes with pinning tweezers and comes with a little mini uh, mini pinning tray. I think the thing's like aluminum. It may be the stainless steel. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum. I have one. I just don't remember what it's made of. It's painted. Uh, but that's for 35 bucks. That's a really great uh, way to get into. Uh, if you want to get your green belt in lock sport, you need to gut locks. So that's really cool that they're offering that. And let's see here. Uh, the jiggler picks, we talked about those. The warded picks, we talked about those. I need to buy the jiggler picks and the warded picks. And I need to add them and create... Uh, my ultimate bypass kit. I have an ultimate bypass kit, but there's more and more tools to be had So I need to put them in an echelon case and uh, get it bigger the chop shop came out a couple weeks ago If you've been living under a rock you can purchase these um, You can purchase tools that have etching on them with different designs different logos super cool um, Something was brought to my attention yesterday that a lot of these tool sets if you purchase them they may, uh, you can get these tool sets with a Covert Instruments tag that says Chop Shop, but only if the set of tools is double-sided in its etching. So I don't, um, I'm trying to put that into words. Um, I'm sure it's here somewhere in the fine print, but basically someone had purchased a set of tools that only had etching on one side and was like, hey, where is my tag? And they were like, the tag comes when you purchase the sets of tools that have etching on both sides. So I don't feel like it's a big deal. I, I couldn't care less. But there was confusion in the community where somebody had purchased a samurai pick set for $38 and etching was only done on one side. And they were confused why they didn't get a tag. That's because the $48 priced pick sets are etched on both sides, apparently. And the $38 pick sets have etching on one side. I didn't realize there was a price difference when this first came out a couple weeks ago. So that makes sense. So if you're purchasing a $48 etched lock pick set from Covert Instruments, you should be getting a challenge tag with that set. If you are purchasing the $38 pick set, you are not. 
So understand that. The Chop Shop topographic handle, I really wanna get that, add that to my, I, I like to carry um, the, the, it's the, the Slim Pickens or the Slim Tickler, whatever. Um, I, I like to carry that and I would love to get this topographical one at some point in the future. It's only 25 bucks, oh man, oh man. All right, I gotta get out of here before I start spending money. So the Slim Tickler just came out and that has the Riz Pick. The Riz Pick are all the profiles from the Reaper Pick set, which is used by McNally Official. And he is a, 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 a employee of Covert Instruments and a content creator. I love the Riz Pick, I, I think it's great. It's a great complement to the Riv Pick. And then we also have the Reaper Pick set, I just reviewed it, excellent lock pick set, check it out. Really great price, really awesome functionality, really unique tool design and layout. Very new bottom of keyway and top of keyway tensioners that we've never seen on the market. No fluff, no extras, no frills, all thrills. So check this guy out. Moki does not have any new tools to report this week, but as soon as he does, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Um, things are always floating in stock and floating out of stock right now. His jackknife pick set is out of stock, and his minimalist set is out of stock, but his Explorer, Reverend, and Gold Digger pick sets are in stock. So check out Moke Workshop. Jimmy Long's go-to store. Sorry about that. So Jimmy Long's is expecting his mass production pick set here in the coming weeks. Um, he's going to have everything, uh, but they're all going to be in different sizes from what we've seen in the past. I believe things are going to be in 15 thousandths, 19 thousandths, and 22 thousandths instead of the 15, 18, and 22 thousandths. And but the man, I've I have some prototypes from the mass production, and the handles are perfect the handles are amazing i really love it so um i'm looking forward to seeing uh, exactly what sets are coming out he's going to have some sets that are not currently uh shown here on the website like he's going to have 19 thousandths i believe the thicknesses for the gym hooks so he has the 15 thousandths gym hooks which he's had in june and then sold out in like two minutes um he's also going to have these in 19 thousandths so i'm really looking forward to that because i'm a gym hook user uh based on on the popular gym hook which actually was first seen in 1977 in the locksmith ledger but there are manufacturers i would have you believe that they invented it they did not uh, but I'm, look, I'm a big fan of that design. So I'm looking forward to that in the coming weeks. So we'll keep you in up to date on what's happening with Jimmy Long's. Uh, Multi-Pick has like, oh, six new lockpick sets. We have the triple gauge lockpick set in 0.4 millimeter, 0.5 and 0.6 millimeter from Lock Noob. It's an excellent pick set. This one doesn't have turning tools. So if you collect their turning tools, you already own all their turning tools. This is a really great opportunity to buy a really competitive lock pick set designed by uh, Lock Noob. And, uh, but if you want the turning tools, you can get it right here. It looks like it has the Christina Palmer, um, which is also a turning tool set, which is also known as the tension tool set three with the Lock Noob. Uh, triple gauge set. That's what it looks like. I could be wrong, but uh, that's my guess. So check that out. It retails for 139 euros or $150. Actually, $128 because we don't pay a VAT in the United States, a value added tax. So it's $128. It's a really good value. It's a really nice case. I love everything coming from Multipick. Uh, they also have um, this very new um, double sided wafer lock pick that has a built-in tension wrench here, so that way you could rake and pick. It never occurred to me that it's very hard to tension a double-sided wafer lock unless you're just raking one side at a time and then fl flipping your tension wrench over. This is a very cool design. Um, possibly they are sending me one for review. Looking forward to that. There was some mention in some emails, so I'm looking forward to getting that in my hands to try. And of course, shameless plug, Sandman, yourself, myself, yourself. Yeah, you, you did. No, I consulted for Multipick uh, sometime back in June, May or June, on what I thought should could be some very fun competitive lock pick sets. And they have the Sandman starter set, which is just three tools. I think it's very successful. Uh, seeing the success of the uh, the FNG from Covert Instruments and the starter set from Jimmy Long's. Um, we now have the starter set from Multipick, the Sandman starter set, where it's just a Bogota and a flat hook in, I think it's uh, 
20, it's like 23 thousandths of an inch and that's a 0.6 millimeter. So it's 23 and a half thou and a one millimeter double ended turning tool in a really nice leather pick case. So that's really all you need to get started in lock picking for as low as $20 USD um, without the value or $17 actually without the tax. And we are looking at 18 euros overall. So if you are on the other side of the Atlantic and you're a part of my European demographic or anywhere else in the world, they ship everywhere in the world. This is what I recommend for starters. They also have a basics beginner pick set, which gives you two more turning tools and one more lock pick, a rounded medium hook. And then we also have the intermediate pick set. Honestly, if you buy the intermediate pick set, this should set you up for life. This is really all you need. But I, I, I structured it in a way that you can add things to this over time. I'm gonna be doing reviews of these pick sets over the coming week or weeks. Um, I just had a lot of new products coming out with Covert Instruments that I had to get out of the way. And now I'll be able to start talking about myself. Just kidding. I was waiting for Lock Pickers Bench to get these products in stock so that way my North American demographic can have equal access to these tools without having to pay shipping from Germany. Um, they also have an advanced, uh, this is the intermediate pick set. I must have just cl clicked on the advanced. Yeah, I, I accidentally just showed the advanced pick set by accident. I apologize. You get it. Sandman has lock picks. Now he's a shill. Now he's a shill. He's working for multi pick. He can't be trusted. Also, if you just purchase the starter pick set or the beginner pick set, you can add expansions to them by just adding an expansion set of these rounded hooks in 0.4 millimeter or 16 thousandths, or these flat hooks in 0.4 millimeter or 16 thousandths. Alternatively, you can add the what are called thins, very similar to a gym style hook um, in 0.4 millimeter as well. So you don't have to purchase the advanced pick set and spend however much it is, like close to 200 bucks. I think it's like 150 uh, bucks. You can just totally just get away with buying um, just the expansion sets and add to your basic or your starter set or beginner or starter set. I don't remember what's called. I don't even know the name of my own products. I'm the worst shill ever. I get no kickbacks from multi-pick. I get nothing other than just the pride of knowing that I had the opportunity to, to consult for one of the greatest lockpick manufacturers in the world, um, if not the greatest. That, that's super awesome. Lockpickers Bench. Speaking of distributors that sell lockpick tools uh, from multi-pick out of Germany, Lockpickers Bench is a distributor based out of Alaska, and he specializes in selling tools that are not made in North America that you would normally have to pay $20 to $40 in shipping just to get. And he will ship everything to the lower 48 states of the United States for $9 flat rate shipping USPS. So if you go to Lockpickers Bench, let's say you want to put in a purchase from Bare Bones, made in Australia, Lawlock Tools, made in Great Britain, or Multi-Pick Tools, you can buy all these tools and only pay $9 shipping and receive everything within three to five business days. He is selling all of my Lockpick sets from the starter, the beginner, and the intermediate pick set, and he is also making magnetic 3D printed handles because that's how I like to enjoy my Lockpicking experience while using multi-pick, I like to put on 3D printed handles because it just makes them so much more comfortable. Now you can purchase these handles. You only really need one, in my opinion, because you're only gonna use one pick at a time. They're super hot swappable. There's maggots on the inside. You don't have to glue these things. They just come apart super quick, takes a couple seconds um, to hot swap your picks. Also, these will fit inside of a multi-pick case. So check that out. Um, I don't know what design he's going with. He sent me a couple prototypes. I'm going to be going over those in my reviews moving forward in the future. He does have, let's see here. So he does have a whole selection of multi-pick tools. You can also purchase a multi-pick Lock Pickers Bench exclusive dimple pick set. They are using the Lock Noob Community Edition design dimple pick handles, which are about 10 millimeter in thickness for more ergonomic comfort and grip. And he comes with three double ended turning tools. And it is a selection of very popular, highly purposeful, you know, most likely used dimple picks, a total of six profiles 
no fluff, no extras, very cool, glad to see that. And it's only $170, which is really great because these are the best dumple picks that you can purchase on the market, but this is a Lock Pickers Bench exclusive, so check that out as well. And if you're looking for locks to pick and you don't know what to get, check out the box to green or blue, depending on what you add to your cart. You can get the full set for $70 USD. We have a Master Lock number three, we have an Avis 5530 and Avis 5540. The difference is like a four pin versus a five pin, or maybe it's a three pin versus a four pin. And then we have an Avis 7240, which is a six pin, which is super tough. Wow, this is, a, this is really intelligent because the Master Lock is a four pin, the Avis 5530 Oh, let's go to lpubelts.com <laughs> and let's see what the 5530 is because the 5540 is going to be one pin larger. So a bus 5530 is going to be a yellow belt lock and that yellow belt lock should, let's take a look at the key. It should have one, two, three, four pins possibly. Let's go to the... Uh, I'm having trouble counting those pins. So let's go to the Avis 5540. And that is an orange belt. And this guy is going to have three, four pins. So one, two, three, four pins. So I'm going to go with an assumption here that uh, the Master Lock is four pins. The Avis 5530 is a three pin. The Avis 5540 is a four pin. They could both be four pins, but I think it's three and four. And then the Avis... Um, the Avis 7240 is a six pin, and then the, the Packlock 98 Pro is a seven pin padlock. That's really cool that it, it it graduates from easiest to hardest and adding more and more pins and difficulty to pick them. And it's $70. If you price this out on Amazon, it is $70 to like $75. It's nearly identical in price. I don't think these guys are making any money off of this set. And the cool thing about getting this, not only if you pick these locks and submit your videos or pictures, at least up to like Orange Belt and then videos after that to um, uh, for Green Belt and Blue Belt to the Lock Pickers United Discord channel or the Reddit, then you will not only get your belt ranking, but you can also submit your Blue Belt video to Pack Lock and they will send you a certificate of achievement and they'll send you a patch certifying you as a legitimate lock picker it's a thing check it out i have a video of it so that's really excuse me that's really cool that they're doing that when i talk i actually get like like i like have to like burp it's just what happens when you ramble for half an hour straight bare bones now has a new lock pick set for 56 dollars and it's a good set. It's not what has me excited. It's the case that has me excited. It's a really nice vinyl case. I'd love to see leather in the future. Uh, it's only a $6 case. Let's see some leather. Get that, bump that baby up to $12, $6. Those are rookie numbers. You gotta bump that, bump those numbers up. But it's a really good case because I really like the fact that it, it only takes up half of the uh, case. For some reason, uh, whoever is making the cases, China, for uh, HPC um, now uh, since like 2017 going forward the HPC lockpick case is like it's just you basically the inside of the case goes all the way up to the case it's like it hides the lockpicks essentially let me go back to that uh, lockpick set here uh, let's see uh, recent hits why is it not there go figure whatever you guys get the picture it's a decent case it's vinyl I would love to see leather uh, let's go with uh, Southward. Southward has a new product came out a couple months back in August, and it is this. It they've had this before. It's a lock pick kit. All the the profiles go inside of this, you know, pin. The Southward pocket pin lock pick set. Differences they used to have two different versions, um, where they had one that had a key wing, ring and one that didn't have a key ring, and now they just have a version where you can remove the key ring altogether or add it. Whatever, um, I get it. They're trying to streamline their uh, their portfolio or their inventory portfolio. What are they? Are they architects? Are they artists? No, they're trying to streamline their inventory. However, I would really like to see Southord instead bring back their dimple pick set uh, that was inside of a, a, a pin. It was actually a really high quality pick set that I missed out on. That's no longer available and nobody has it in stock. I've contacted distributors that list them on their website still to this day with a price, and I'm not gonna mention their names, and I've, hey, do you, is it true that you really have this in stock? And they're like, oh, no, it's not in stock, sorry. So there are, there are, main, there are 
distributors that have products listed in stock on their website just so they can try to get visitors to the site, but they don't actually have them in stock. So um, I would love to see Southward bring that back. I contacted them. They're like, nope, sorry, we got rid of it. I was like, okay. Okay, so now we're here to 44 Delta, which is a new comer in the Locksport community as it pertains to providing us awesome 3D printed technologies. And they now have a Euro front follower. So if you are disassembling your Euro profile of cylinders or doing rekeys or, you know, doing it because you want to, whatever, you want to take apart your lock to progress, progressively pin it and it, you can remove it from the front, then we have these followers here. Alternatively, he does have followers for rear um, I, I don't know, where, where you pull the plug out from the back, but you can insert followers from the rear. He has all that as well. So that's a new product from him. We also have the disc detainer gutting tray. That's new. I'm going to be getting into disc detainer locks here in the coming months. Myself and an Avis disc detainer turning tool, which is great. And we also have a travel pinning tray uh, and storage, which is cool. It looks like an Altoids 10, and he fitted a pinning tray that holds up to seven different pins, holds the plug, and holds a couple various parts, like a C-clip and maybe some springs or something like that. Very cool. Glad to see that. Uh, for those of you that like to go to Locksport meetups, maybe you're a locksmith, maybe you're, um, who knows, maybe you're just like an on-call kind of guy, or you like to travel to lock picking competitions like I do. I have one tomorrow here in, in Fluger, uh, here in Central Texas. It's going to be in Pflugerville. This is something you could totally take with you, and it's only $8. Wow. How are you making any money on that? I don't, I don't know. That sounds, that sounds crazy, man. What I would like to see, it's in silver, which is cool. I would love to see this in some pretty cool colors. I would like to see that in some funky colors. You know, I think that would go cool with like Moki or something like that. So let's see here. Um, he also has these new uh, belt chip sets. I talked about this last week, but if you are going through the karate belt ranking system, you can now purchase all of your belt uh, colors um, as you progress or all at once. Doesn't matter. Um, let's see here. You can purchase them individually for $5 or you can purchase them as a set. Um, you can also put them on a lockpick stand. So if you are Georgia Jim and you are like a 15th Don, then you use these gold bars here to denote a total of 15 ranks beyond black belt. Uh, like Lady Locks is a third Don, I believe. So she ha would have three of these bars at least. Um, so she may be higher than that. And uh, it's also magnetic, comes with these little magnets here. And then you just uh, insert these and there, the way you go. I have this, it's super cool. I'll be doing a review on that. And alternatively, you can put your poker chip, whether that be your own personal poker chip, like it has your logo or your emblem if you have a YouTube channel, or you can put your belt rank on there. I'm gonna have to do that. I need to get my own poker chip. I've never done that. Uh, let's see here. You can also put them in capsules. So if you're like, hey, I spent a little too bit much money on mine and I wanna protect it. These also have a really cool like metallic a holographic effect on some of these not the not the case but the actual poker chip itself that has the belt ranking on it you can protect it and you can put it in your pocket and carry it around with you go to locksport meetups and do a challenge coin that's where these poker chips come from is from challenge coins so people would um, in the military you'd carry a challenge coin for something that you did in the military whether you met a president or you met the commandant of the marine corps or you were a scout sniper reconnaissance marine or your navy seal and if you go to a bar somebody pulls out a challenge coin and your goal was to pull out a coin that could beat their coin. So if someone pulled out, oh, well, I was a recon Marine and someone else could pull out, well, well, I saved the president of the United States because I worked in the secret service. That person, that, that recon Marine would have to buy you a beer. That's the whole purpose of a challenge coin. So if you want to carry your belt rank as a, as a form of a challenge to locksport meetups, you could carry it in this plastic case, not get it scratched up. And you can go to locksport meetups and someone could show you their blue belt and you could say, ha, I'm a red belt. And they would have to buy you a drink or something. That would just be my guess at a fun way to uh, interact with the lock sport community. Um, he does now have pick handles for Moki tools and he is now, uh, well, he has fluorescent glow in the dark green, but he told me that he recently just got in stock the original, um, full luminescent, not to be confused with fluorescent, but luminescent green for making the original Moki pick handles that Moki did for over a year before he came out with his current plastic handles. So these are all really cool colors. Check it out. Um, I'm, I'm going to be putting in an order for about 10 sets of those handles in the luminescent green. I guess he just hasn't listed them on his website yet. But if you are looking for those original green handles seen here in the background of my video, check that out. Sparrows has no new products, 
not not for a couple months. They just have this T-shirt here. They put together a Vorax loaded lock picking bundle, but that's it. They don't really have anything new. Not in six months. Uh, Tool keeping an eye on their. They don't have any new products. I'm keeping an eye on their uh, kick. Uh, the Kia knob lock where you can add any type of Kia knob cylinder as long as it's a North American residential or North American commercial. It's non-SFIC, non-LFSA, IC. It has to be a kick, a Kia knob cylinder. Um, you can put it in here, but they have different editions. So first edition, which I own, and then second edition, which I don't, but I also have a third edition. I'm always coming back here to check to see if they have a fourth edition in stock, and they do not yet. Almost done, folks. Lockjaw Manufacturing looks like they're gearing up for Halloween here, and it looks like they have some uh, new products in stock, some new stickers, some new patches. Um, I love seeing all this stuff. And, and as winter is coming, Jon Snow, make sure you prepare with some beanie caps. Beanie caps. So check out Lockjaw Manufacturing for all your locksmithing and lock sports swag and memorabilia. And don't forget that there is the third annual Texas Lock Picking Challenge that's going to be hosted by the 60th annual Texas Locksmith Association Convention, which is going to be in Pflugerville, Texas, September 21st, tomorrow. I will be there with my lock sport team. I'm going with a team of five pickers in total, and we're going to go and win this sucker. There's like a thousand or two thousand dollars worth of prizes, and we get to meet people like from pack lock and multi lock. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so keep an eye on the YouTube channels. We'll be making videos of that shortly as that progresses. Cloaked Entry Co. Um, is a reseller of Southern Specialties. Cloaked Entry Co. is based out of one of the Carolinas. Really nice group of people and they have this really brand new nice lock pick set um, here um, that I always have trouble zooming in on and I people are like, oh you gotta hit control and then you gotta hit the you gotta do this and none of it works and then they say, oh you gotta hit control and then you gotta hit the plus button and I hit that and I can zoom in for the page um, but it's just goofy as heck. So they have this really nice set of tools that were designed uh, by my, I don't want to give her last name, but uh, her, uh, her and her husband teach lock picking courses like uh, to SWAT and civilians alike. And this is really nice. It is made in titanium, which is great for going into what's called uh, non-permissive environments, which is a, a buzzword for meaning behind the wire areas you're not supposed to be in. Um, but I digress. Um, it's made out of titanium, so it won't corrode. It's non-magnetic, so it will not be detectable by, uh, uh, by you know, <laughs> I'm having a brain fart here and somebody would just go, it's called this. Guys, I've been talking for an hour straight, but it's non-magnetic and uh, it won't show up if you're going through like some type of security checkpoint. The problem is, though, it can be a weaker tool steel, so be careful. I wouldn't recommend this if you are a beginner, but it's really nice to add to any collection. It's pretty nice. I really like it. Um, so congratulations for them for putting that out. Metal detector. That was the word I was looking for. Metal detector. Anyways, uh, Chrono Lock, who's known for coming out with the Reaper pick cases. He is a leather worker, and he has partnered with Moki and partnered with Bare Bones to come out with these leather um, Reaper lock pick case or sets. Not to be confused with the McNally Reaper pick set. These were actually released before the McNally ones. And he has collaborated with Hazardous Manufacturing with these really beautiful handles and Moki with the lock picks. And um, he's also come out with the Book of Bones, which I uh, did a giveaway on. And these were also for sale on his website. He has recently put up a couple new additions to his website. If you go to Lock Sport, there's a drop down and you can go to Lock Picking and Lock Sport Legends. So if you go to Lock Picking, we have some videos here that he recommends and uh, give some information on joining the Discord or joining the Reddit uh, channel. Alternatively, he has a new section called Lock Pick, Lock Picking Legends or LPU Legends, and he gives credence or um, he gives, uh, you know, respect to Yabinde, who is a 18th Don, Retep, who is an 18th Don in Lock Picking, Rain, who is a 17th Don, and George Jim, who is a 15th Don in Lock Picking. Scroll further, he talks about Jeff Sitar, one of my heroes, he's a safe cracker, and infamous lock sport YouTubers. Oh man, he talks about uh, my, he talks about me, Sam man, yours truly, and Lock Noob, and Lady Locks, and Artichoke2000, and a few other honorable mentions. Very cool that he's doing that for the lock sport community, very kind of you uh, to add me to that list. I'm a nobody, I literally am just a collector, that's all I am. Um, Let's go here and talk real quick about Leashy Tools. So I don't have a particular vendor that I can recommend for this one particular Leashy Tool, but 
Lishi has recently come come out with an R52, so Control Plus, an R52, I hate doing that, but an R52, which is designed for Philips keyways, and Philips is a, a keyway specifically for the Mexican demographic. And uh, Philips, I don't know who owns them, probably ass Abloy in the end, because they own everybody, but uh, it's very similar to a quick set keyway. It's very kind of blocky and just wide open. I was in Oaxaca, Mexico just last year, last uh, 2023 in August, and the Philips keyway was very popular among all the residential and commercial houses that I've seen, and I purchased like $400 worth of locks. So if you're looking for a new Lishi residential keyway to add to your collection, definitely check out, look for R52. I don't have a source that I can recommend specifically that is reliable, um, but R52 is gonna be one that showed up this summer. Um, if you go to lockpicks.com, which is owned by Brokage, based out of Florida, we also have a Sergeant LA. Um, keyway sergeant's very popular and we have a Yale Y11 and YA4 keyways which are quite common to among cabinet drawers utilities and canopies or whatever for like trucks and stuff like that um, check that out UHS doesn't have any new products Etsy doesn't really have any new products that's worth mentioning but one of my most favorite vendors on Etsy is going to be Rat Yoke. I have like four of his rings including my wedding ring is made by Rat Yoke. So if you're looking for really great uh, lock sport jewelry, check out Rat Yoke on Etsy. Uh, that's all I have for today folks. Let me know in the comments down below which of these products has you most excited. Which products are you looking forward to coming out over the coming weeks? Which products are out of stock that you wish that you could get your hands on? And which products do you think some of these manufacturers should be putting out or releasing or inventing and creating to scratch that itch for you? I really want to know. I hope this uh, Lock Sport uh, brief was help helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below, folks, and I will catch you guys next time.